This week we tried fermenting and preserving some winter vegetables. Winter vegetables are mostly cabbage or root vegetables. We went to a farmer's market in Zurich to buy some organic deliciousness. Ideally, we would use homegrown produce, but at the very least, we recommend using local and organic products. For preserving, it's best to use ripe vegetables without any malt and dents. We decided to try preserving as a way to reduce food waste and as preparation for our first harvest this summer. And we soon find out it's not as difficult as we thought it would be. We picked five different recipes which are seasonal and which we always wanted to make ourselves. First, we made kimchi. It's a delicious Korean cabbage pickle. The first step is to pour water into a bowl and let it get to room temperature. Cut up the cabbage into slices and then add salt to the water. Stir until it dissolves. <laughs> Mix everything together in a huge bowl. Cover it and let it soak for two hours. It's important that the cabbage remains on the water. Find a thing of the correct size. Good luck with that. Then place heavy objects on the top. We recommend bottles of gin. Now for the seasoning, cut up an apple and some onion together with garlic and ginger. Then throw them into a blender to make a sweet and spicy sauce. Next, mix up a paste with chili flakes, powder and water for some extra spiciness. After two long hours of waiting, drain and rinse the cabbage thoroughly. Then place it back into the bowl. Add spring onions to the cabbage and the blended up spicy sauce. <laughs> and then the chili paste. Put everything into mason jars and you are done. What happens next with the kimchi, we don't really know yet. We will see. Now sauerkraut. Chop up some white cabbage into a million slices. Then beat the shit out of them. Forever. Really. For every layer of cabbage, add salt, cumin and allspice berries. Repeat this process until the cabbage releases its liquid. After 500 hours you are done. Top everything with a cabbage leaf and some saran wrap. Close the lids tightly. This was our first time, so we don't know what's supposed to happen next. Franca really wanted to make some pumpkin pickle. To do that, first peel the pumpkin and cut it into small cubes. And next sterilize the jar. Also bring some vinegar and water to a boil together with sugar. Fill a tea bag with some spices like cinnamon, pink pepper, uh, bay leaf and then close it. Next, cook everything for half an hour. Fill the pumpkin into a jar and voila! For something a bit more girly, we preserved some pink onion. Cut into slices and try not crying too hard. Rinse them with boiling water and continue with crying. Add some sugar, salt, spices and garlic into a bowl. Next, add vinegar to the mix and fill into a jar. I may be still crying, but you are done. Next, something your eyes will hate even more. Franca recommends sunglasses. Create some horseradish and an apple. Next, add salt and some vinegar. Mix well and transfer into a little jar. It's delicious with fish and very, very healthy. The result looks beautiful and tastes amazing. Our favorite is the kimchi. This week we found a new technique to avoid food waste. It may be time consuming, but the pickles have a long, long shelf life and you should definitely try it yourself. Good luck!